the midpoint on the journey of life, I found myself in a dark forest, for the clear path was lost. I guess when I started this project, the first thing was um, I wanted to do a game that was, uh, you know, very dark, um, and I was really mostly wanted to do something that was set in the afterlife and kind of deal with, you know, the sort of medieval notion of what happens when you die and the kind of just the way that people hundreds of years ago thought about sin and how you're punished for your sins and um, that just felt like a game to me and felt like nobody had really taken on sort of the medieval Christian sort of world view of, of the afterlife. You know, we've cast Dante as a veteran of the Crusades. We've, we've given him a past that involves him having fought in these Crusade Wars and come home from that. And, uh, you know, rather than just give him a sort of Crusader's tunic, you know, we really thought it would be kind of sort of crazy and twisted in a way that he, he's got the cross, the Red Cross, literally sewn right into the flesh of his chest. And it is a tapestry. It's got little classic medieval tapestry st style scenes in it and uh, and you know I don't think he quite knows why he's doing it but he's sewing these scenes um, which as we'll learn in the game are literally scenes from his past and each little scene is um, representative of, of uh, you know shall we say a poor choice that he made you know the the main weapon that we're showing today and his primary weapon is death scythe um, the blade on the end of the scythe can uh, rotate in all degrees so it can point like a spear and stick into things it can curve back and cut into things. The shaft of the scythe is, uh, is basically a vertebra um, and it's made of bones and flesh and sinew and, uh, and that vertebra can stretch and contract and so Dante is able to use it as a navigational mechanic. To, we like to think of it as kind of the Swiss army knife of hell. We're giving a lot of thought to the pacing of the game and we want there to be moments uh, of, uh, you know, where you sort of take a breather and it's a little bit more of an adventure and thoughtful and, um, you know, and, and puzzle solving moment. You know, I think you, I really want the puzzles to be physical in nature, and, you know, echoing that theme of, you know, Dante kind of breaking into hell and really manipulating the environment and leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Um, but, uh, you know, most of all, the focus on the level design is really making each level and each zone of each level unique in some way. We're just designers are putting a lot of love and attention into every single room and every room has got to have some uh, unique and fresh design element and that's that's really the way we're looking at it.